guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing my november reading wrap up i've only read four books this today is currently the 30th of november technically i could finish a book tonight but i don't think so because i'm very much trying to do the 12 days of christmas but like book talk and I'm doing one every two days, so I've still got a chance to kind of film some videos and get them edited. But I'm trying to film what I can um, whilst I'm at home. Anyway, so like I said, I only read four books. Um, I am now two behind on my Goodreads goal. But I'm hoping at the end, like the last week of December, because I'll be like off. I'll be able to read more. So... I'm hoping I should be good and like I do will still read some books in December um it's just I'm working a lot um and I have worked a lot this past month um hence why I've not been able to read as much in this past like week um but anyway so the first book that I finished was Where He Can't Find You by Darcy Coates this is actually a YA horror I previously thought it was a thriller but no it's a horror um I, I think this is the second horror I, book that I have read, um, be, the first book being um, Carrie by Stephen King. Um, I really enjoyed this, I rated this a 5 stars, it kept me captivated, it kept me tense in like the places where it should. This is my first of the author and I definitely will read more of her books um, and I would highly recommend. Um, I read this as a book, one of my books during two of these books I finished in my 24 hour readathon which obviously took me months anyway um and there was just under 400 pages um I don't have the stats um but yeah I read one obviously one YA horror one mystery one kind of magical realism um and slash, it's a magical realism like literary fiction type thing and then one romance um i don't know the amount of pages let me do it quickly i've read 1340 pages um this month um so yeah but yeah, I highly recommend um, and I do want to read more of this author but I've got way too many books so I kind of need to not buy um, new books. Um, then, 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 then. Actually, I need to go in order. What did I then read? Oh yes. Then I finished You've Reached Sam by Dustin Tao. I, th I reached this a full stars. Um really enjoyed this i yeah i really enjoyed this it was nice it was quick it was easy but also in some ways it felt like nothing special like i didn't like the moments were beautiful but it didn't capture me in that way um which is why it's only a four star um but i would still recommend it was a nice quick easy short read that i did at the end of my 24 hour readathon um and yeah again would recommend then i finished a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson i've been meaning to get to this for a while i think this is actually on my 24th 2024 so that's good to have finally gotten it off i'm racing this a four stars maybe 4.25 i enjoyed it it was i wanted to know what happened um i didn't kind of fully like know all that would happen um but i'm definitely interested in reading book two i do own book two um i just i didn't get it as much as some people did because i know that this is beloved by so 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 many people um and i obviously did just i just didn't get it um, which is really sad, but yeah, I would still recommend though. Um, and then the final book that I finished was Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. This was a five star read. 
I freaking loved this so so much um this the main character the main female character is Nora Spicy um and I just I related to this on so many levels I enjoyed the spice it was kind of more nicer than like the Chestnut Springs books in terms of the spice small town cowboy romance kind of grumpy sunshine um and it was just so nice and I'm definitely I definitely want to read more of the books like in the series because especially book three like I cannot wait to read about Teddy and Gus like I'm sorry but this was so good and like it had me like giddy from like 36 pages in or whatever it was and I was just like Ee! um and I think it helped that it was also on Kindle Unlimited um so I was able to just kind of easily read it on the go um I definitely do need to get back into reading for like half an hour after I finished work like on my Kindle especially during December when there's like the Christmas few Christmas books that I want to get to I should maybe try and get that kind of done um but yeah I'm sorry that this was so short but I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what books you read in the month of November and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys